वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू दिस सिक्स लेक्चर ऑफ मल्टीवेरिएबल कैलकुलस माय सेल्फ एस एन चिंसोले असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर महात्मा गांधी विद्या मंदिर आर्ट साइंस एंड कॉमर्स कॉलेज मनमाड इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ लिमिट ऑफ द फंक्शन ऑफ थ्री वेरिएबल्स द कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ द फंक्शन ऑफ थ्री वेरिएबल्स and some illustrative examples on limit and continuity the objectives of this lecture are to solve some extra examples on limit and continuity example 1 determine the set of points at which the function is continuous function is given to be f of x y is equal to x y upon 1 plus e raised to minus x y see the function f of x y is equal to x y and the function g of x y is equal to 1 plus e raised to minus x y both are continuous everywhere in x y plane so the given function f of x y is equal to x y upon 1 plus e raised to minus x y it is also continuous everywhere in r2 except at those points for which the denominator is zero and when does denominator will be zero denominator will be zero when 1 plus e raised to minus x y is equal to zero means e raised to minus x y is equal to minus 1 or in other words e raised to x y is equal to minus 1 but e raised to any real number cannot be equals to minus 1 therefore the set of points at which the function f of x y is continuous is r2 means there is no point of discontinuity for this function f of x y Determine the set of points at which the function is continuous, and function is given to be f of x y is equal to cos of square root of one plus x minus y. We know that the function f of t is equal to cos t is continuous everywhere in a real line. Why is the function g of x y is equal to root of one plus x minus y is also continuous everywhere in its domain? And what will be its domain? its domain contains all order pairs x y of real numbers for which the polynomial inside the square root is greater than or equal to 0 that is g is equal to set of all x y belongs to r2 such that 1 plus x minus y is greater than or equal to 0 therefore the composite function f of x y is equal to f of g of x y is equal to f of square root of 1 plus x minus y is equal to cos of under root 1 plus x minus y means this function capital f of x y it is the composition of f with g therefore it is also continuous everywhere in r2 except for those order pairs x y for which 1 plus x minus y is less than zero And therefore it is continuous in its domain or in the set d is equal to set of all x y belongs to r2 so that x x plus 1 minus y is greater than or equal to 0 example 3 determine the set of points at which the function is continuous and function is given to be f of x y is equal to ln of x square plus y square minus 4 the function f of t is equal to ln t is continuous in its domain d is equal to set of all real numbers t such that t greater than 0 you know that logarithm of zero and negative real number does not exist therefore the domain of logarithmic function is only set of positive real number and it is continuous in its domain while the function g of x y is equal to x square plus y square minus 4 it is a polynomial function therefore it is continuous everywhere in r2 hence the composite function capital f of x y which is the composition of f with g f of g of x y is equal to f of x square plus y square minus 4 this is the formula for g of x y and the formula for f of t is ln t therefore f of x square plus y square minus 4 it is equal to ln of x square plus y square minus 4 this is equal to 
our given function capital F of x y. Therefore, it is continuous in its domain. And what will be its domain? Same set set of order pair x y belongs to R two such that x square plus y square minus four is strictly less than zero. Therefore, the function f is continuous in this set. Example four: Determine the set of points at which the function is continuous. And function is given to be f of x y z is equal to arc sine of x square plus y square plus z square. Arc sine is nothing but the inverse of sine function, sine inverse function. The function g of t is equal to arc sine t is continuous in its domain, and we know that the domain of sine inverse is closed interval minus one one, and therefore this function g of t is equal to arc sine t is continuous in this closed interval minus one one. That is set of all real numbers t such that minus one less equal t less equal one, while the function h of x y is equal to x square plus y square plus z square this is a polynomial function in x y and z instead of h of x y here should be h of x y z function of three variables and it is continuous everywhere because it is a polynomial function so the composite function g of h of x y z h of x y z Is nothing but x square plus y square plus z square. Therefore, it equals to g of x square plus y square plus z square. And g of x square plus y square plus z square it is equal to arc sine of x square plus y square plus z square because g of t is equal to arc sine t. And it equals to f of x y z. Therefore, it is also continuous. This given function f of x y z is also continuous in its domain. And domain is given as set of all x y z belongs to R three such that minus one less than or equal to x square plus y square plus z square less than or equal to one. Since g of t is equal to R sine t is continuous in the domain closed interval minus one one, g of h of x y z is equal to R sine of d x square plus y square plus z square. It is also continuous in its domain. And what will be its domain? Its domain is set of order triplets x y z belongs to R three such that x square plus y square plus z square lies between minus one and one. But as x y z are real numbers, x square plus y square plus z square is always non-negative. Therefore, this set can be reduced to the set of x y z belongs to R three such that x square plus y square plus z square is less than or equal to one. Therefore. We can say that this function f of x y z is equal to r sine x square plus y square plus z square is continuous on an interior of the sphere x square plus y square plus z square is equal to one with center at zero 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 and radius one unit, which is also called as standard unit sphere. Means this function is continuous on an interior of the standard unit sphere. Assignment. In the comment box of this YouTube video, there is a link of Google Form for feedback on assignment. For any query, please write to a comment box. Thank you. If you like this video, please click on the like symbol. For sharing this video, click on the share symbol. And for the alert. of next videos subscribe this channel youtube.com oblique c oblique mathematics education sanjay sinsole